Okay, the lighting's kind of bad, but I've got it all configured now. And like from the pictures I sent earlier. And if I flick it on and I've got the probe across this 4.7 cap on the secondary. No smoke, that's good. I get this on the scope and I think I had a bad probe because now it's actually reading 5 volts. It's not focusing very well. Uh, 5 volts in 2 milliseconds. So um, at least it's in the right voltage range. Uh, I think it if I read off the center here, that's at 2 volts. It'll be 5, 6, 7, 8, uh, maybe 16, I guess. So um, I think that's working okay. Um, just for comparator's sake, if I connect to the output of one of the TL 499s. Um, I lost my nice square wave. I don't know what's happened. Um, but that's on a 2 volt scale also. Uh, let's see here. There's 5 volt. And if I position it up, so that's on the bottom. It's looking like about 30 volts. Which, if I look at my voltmeter that's on the DC side of the line transformer, it's say 38 coming out of my um, LM317. If I go ahead and take this off and stick it over here before the LM317 I'm reading 38.2 um, I'm not sure what's really going on over there uh, that whole circuit's been acting a little wonky I don't know if I've got a loose connection that keeps causing me problems or what um, I know this 240 ohm resistor here gets really 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 hot um, it's a half watt uh, whenever I try to adjust the voltage, it just goes crazy. So, um, but for all my testing purposes, I did put in a um, 300 milliamp polyfuse, uh, which actually clamps at uh, 500 milliamp, just to kind of keep things from scorching everything. Uh, like I said, I found the reason I burn up the last TL-494. Uh, neglect and being careful and shorted out some things so that's where we stand now if I go ahead and move that back over to the output on the gate driver Get the intensity back down there we go um, Get it centered there on a two volt scale. That'd be 10, 12, 14, 16, 17, almost 18 volts coming out of the uh, gate driver transformer. So I think I'm going to go ahead and throw my second secondary winding on there and see um, if I can get the same results out of the other one. Um, I did find that I was having trouble with one of the probes. I did have, I do have two probes for this um, scope, but uh, the other one just just gives totally crazy results compared to this one, and they are both um, 10x. You can't really. It's not going to focus. Um, 
probes. I bet you that won't focus either. No, that one's actually a P6105 from Tech. Um, it seems to be actually measuring that results that I can uh, quantify that make actual sense. So I'm going to stick with that probe for now. Um, so I guess my goal tomorrow or sometime in the next couple days is to uh, put on that other winding and try the second um, second secondary, make sure I get the same out of that then uh, try and figure out why I don't have a square wave like you said I should have versus this crazy sawtooth thing I've got going on so I uh, just want to say thanks again for all your help and I appreciate it um, I figured this might help uh, show things a little better and get things across easier um, sometimes I misphrase things when I type so um, I just thought this might be a easier method to get a point across so uh, thanks again and uh, I look forward to talking to you later bye